Do you mind if I smoke? It won't affect the test. All right, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Just relax and answer them as simply as you can. It's your birthday. Someone gives you a calfskin wallet. I wouldn't accept it. Also, I'd report the person who gave it to me to the police. You've got a little boy. He shows you his butterfly collection, plus the killing jar. I take him to the doctor. You're watching television. Suddenly you realize there's a wasp crawling on your arm. I'd kill it. You're reading a magazine. You come across a full-page nude photo of a girl. Is this testing whether I'm a replicant or a lesbian, Mr. Deckard? Just answer the questions, please. You show it to your husband. He likes it so much, he hangs it on your bedroom wall. I wouldn't let him. Why not? I should be enough for him. One more question. You're watching a stage play. A banquet is in progress. The guests are enjoying an appetizer of raw oysters. The entree consists of boiled dog. Would you step out for a few moments, Rachel? Thank you. She's a replicant, isn't she? I'm impressed. How many questions does it usually take to spot one? I don't get it, Tyrell. How many questions? 20, 30, cross-referenced. Took more than a hundred for Rachel, didn't it? She doesn't know. She's beginning to suspect, I think. Suspect? How can it not know what it is? Commerce is our goal here at Tyrell. More human than human is our motto. Rachel is an experiment, nothing more. We began to recognize in them a strange obsession. After all, they are emotionally inexperienced with only a few years in which to store up the experiences which you and I take for granted. If we gift them with the past, we create a cushion or pillow for their emotions, and consequently, we can control them better. Memories. You're talking about memories. 